Hello there, how's everyone doing? Uh, it's been quite a while since I have done one of these videos, probably since last summer, I believe. So today I brought my son, Grayson, along with me to share some exciting news. The reason we have not been doing any videos is back in midsummer. Well, let me say first, I haven't really had anything too exciting to film or record on anything. I've just been working, working, and working. So, but midsummer, about that, I decided I wanted to start a clothing company. Now, it's something I have been thinking about for the past couple years and finally just got to put it in motion. So over the past eight, nine months or so, that's what I have been doing. So we started last summer with uh, filing the trademark for, same as this channel, Getting Article Outfitters. That's the name of the brand that I am going to be building. And in that time, we have, with the help of my wife, started to learn Illustrator so we can work on the logos. We submitted the trademark, picked out all the clothing, did all the legal fun stuff that you had to do. Hold on, no, no, leave the fish alone, buddy. Let's leave him right there on the table, okay? So, the biggest problem we had, the reason it's taking so long is when we filed the trademark, we um, had an opposition from Nautica. They did not want us to go through with it because the name Nautica, I guess, was too close to what they wanted. Great. So, they went through multiple oppositions with us dragging out probably about five months until finally they backed off because i didn't give in to any of their demands because the word nautical has nothing to do with them so we were able to go through with that and then it was the process of figuring out all the logos getting that squared away which my amazing wife the art nanny helped me with because she is an amazing graphic designer so she helped me along the way to slowly learn illustrator so i can pick up on it myself which i'm still in the process of doing and trying to take some classes to learn it so i can get proficient at it so i can start making some a lot more graphics and a lot more logos and everything <laughs> But the reason we're going through with a video today, and we chose today, is about a month ago I found this screenshot I wanted to work with out in Colorado. And went through the process for the past couple couple weeks of going through the designs, the locations, price, everything like that. And the first box of clothing just arrived today. So we wanted to do an unboxing of the new, our first run of shirts that I have not seen yet. I have no idea what they look like other than the emails that have been going back and forth between me and the screen printer who their company name is Love Light Apparel. So if anyone's looking for a screen printer, I'm going to put that right up here in the corner of the box so you can go check him out. The guy does amazing work, but me and Grayson, are going to do an unboxing of our new hoodies. So it's very exciting. That's where we're at. And then uh, once they're unboxed, I can uh, I have my website set up, which I'm gonna leave a link below in the description for you to go check out. And uh, I'm gonna get some pictures of those done today, so I can get them up on the website we have www getnautical.com so that way that site's going to be live by the end of the night tonight so the shirts will be up for a shirt for a sale sorry we had to give him a little bit of sugar to keep him awake because it's not quite bedtime yet so it's got a little sugar pumping through him until it's close enough to bedtime and hopefully he crashes but um yeah that's where we're at that's what we have so we're going to unbox the shirts and now i know i've watched a lot of youtube videos in the past months on starting up clothing companies and everything that goes into them from the trademark deal that I went through already what do you use to package them what do you use to ship them what do you use for websites you name it I think I have watched it at some point multiple times so I'm also gonna show you the stuff that I ordered the route I decided to go for marketing for shipping for boxing for packaging for labeling stuff that I'm deciding to use to create my brand right off the bat. So I'm not half-assing it at all. I'm going all in with the product. So it's gonna hopefully look professional, ship professional, 
and even the clothing that I decided to go with with the manufacturers are I spent a little more money on it I think a little over four dollars a t-shirt and about ten eleven dollars a hoodie for the blanks but they're all on the higher end of the quality spectrum and the price spectrum but first impressions are everything so figured why not a couple extra dollars a shirt go all in and hopefully everyone likes it but uh yeah i'll show you a few of the things that i have to get started and then once we go through that we will unbox our first items of hoodies our first run of hoodies that again, I have not even seen them yet. The box came in while I was at work today. I've dragged it inside and it is still sealed up. So I'll be looking at it for the first time with you guys. So it's exciting, a little nerve wracking because of the placement of everything and just hoping that everything went together well. And then at the same time too, I also have some t-shirts that are at a local screen printer because I'm trying to do a lot of stuff locally as well with some screen printers and helping to support some local businesses. So hopefully by, I'm going to say Saturday or Monday, I should have those ready. And then we'll do another unboxing of those. So then I'll have my hoodies and my t-shirts for my first two designs out there. And then we're going to follow up as long as everything goes well and I can start selling things. And then they start selling online. Then I got a few more designs I'm working with. We got hats that are going to get embroidered, socks, and a whole line we're going to come out with to build the brand. So let me... Uh, over i'll grab some of the shipping stuff that i decided to go with because i know a lot of people always have a lot of questions on shipping so i got my sons running around like crazy over there grabbing boxes and bags my wife's trying to wrangle them so we got our own little rodeo going on in the background as well so yeah let me go grab the boxes of everything and i'll show you the shipping stuff we're going with and then we'll move on to unboxing the t-shirts all right i will see you in a minute Alright, so here we have a whole mess of stuff here and in this box. This is all the shipping stuff that I know a lot of people are always asking a lot of questions on. And one of the big things is, what do you box everything up with? So, I'm going to explain some of it to you. So, if you, what I did was, I went to the post office and registered with them right online. Only took less than five minutes to do. And what the post office does, which is really cool, is you can order boxes for free. And so I went through, I picked the sizes that I needed for the hoodies, the t-shirts, if I need to ship a combination of t-shirts and hoodies. And I set everything up by weight on my website, which I use GoDaddy just because they were the easiest, the price was good, the integration was good, and they everything I need from the SEO to the analytics, the surveys, the items, the tax, everything was very easy to navigate, so I went with them. But in terms of the bags, what we have here, this whole box, is I think I have about 150 of them, are just regular padded envelopes from the post office. So t-shirts, great in that, stickers, really cheap, flat rate, good to go. And for stuff that's a little bit heavier, a little bit bigger for the hoodies or the combinations, we have bigger boxes from their priority. I think these ones are 14 by 20, I think. I'm not 100% sure. It's their medium flat rate priority boxes. But again, those are free. I'm not going to throw that one to the side because I will break something and I will get yelled at. Over here, there's more boxes, and I have more upstairs. So there's a lot of boxes floating around here. And then, next, what we have for the shirts to go in is I got two boxes here. I'm only going to open one of them because it's easier. But basically, these here are just clear poly bags. I got them on uh, eBay for a lot cheaper. These are the 9x12s. I also have a bigger ones for the hoodies. But um, Uline's wanted something like, I think it was like 120 bucks for a thousand of them. I don't know how many shirts I'm going to be selling right off the bat, so I didn't need a thousand of them. So I think it was 10 bucks for a hundred of them or something like that from eBay. Same thing, they're from Uline. The Uline sticker is still in the package. 
So if you're starting off with smaller runs, which I also suggest you do, just so you're not stuck with a lot of inventory, go on eBay, grab what you need. These ones are 9 by 12 The other ones are 14 by 18 or 16 by 20 I forget. They have a 2-inch flap, so you can fold it over. Shirts go in that. And then those go in the bag. And um, next thing I got for the shipping is everything I'm using has tearaway tags. So I, cut, I did a custom inside neck label, so that way my, all my clothing will be branded with my company name, which I recommend on every vlog I ever read, say go right off the bat and do it. It makes sense to do it. It'll make your brand look that much better. So for 10 bucks on eBay, I got 6,000 of these little guys here. I got from extra small to double XL little stickers. So once you fold the, all your items, put them in the little clear cellophane bags and they're waiting to ship or waiting for someone to order them. And yeah, they're stacked up on the shelf or on the floor somewhere. You can just put one of these little stickers on the bag so you know what size it is and you'll be good to go. You don't have to tear anything back open. You don't have to forget what size or what went where. It's just something that is small and easy to keep track of everything. And the last thing that I got here, which I'm actually pretty psyched about, it was only 20 bucks, I think, for, I think it was 100 feet or something, which I don't know how much I'm going to use, but to start, it worked out, is from Sticker Monkey. Now, I did, got a bunch of samples from them. I did a couple of their promo orders for, like, it was like 20 stickers for a dollar, 10 stickers for a dollar, and the quality was amazing, so... I went ahead for 20 bucks. I got this stuff here has the company name on it and this is shipping tape so I got to read through the directions on it. apparently you have to use a sponge to adhere it somehow I don't know but for 20 bucks I figure when I package up my boxes of things to use to ship out everything goes in it I can put this shipping tape on it and the box will be the first impressions or everything so on the box you have everything that you need right there it's gonna look good hopefully when they open up they're gonna love the product but when they get the package at least they'll see the packing tape with the company name on it so it looks very professional and it's very cost-effective on my end too so that's what I got for the shipping stuff so now we're gonna grab Grayson All right Greg you want to help me open a big box yeah 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 say it do you want to help yeah, you're going to open a big box? Big box! Uh, so we're going to go big open a big box now, and we're going to check out these shirts with you guys, or I should say hoodies. I ordered 30 hoodies to start, all different sizes. They're um, all medium weight, so Grace is already grabbing the scissors, so I better go over there, and we'll open this box for you guys, all right? All right, Craig, what are we doing here? Opening a big box. We are opening a big box, so... Here's the big box we got. This is all of our first run of clothing that we are going to have up for sale. So it's probably going on about nine months yeah. of work trying to get these things in. So we're going to open this thing right up without cutting ourselves. Okay? Yeah. And when I give you the okay, we're going to rip it open, okay? Just like it's Christmas. And we're not going to cut ourselves either. Right, Greg? It's Christmas! Do you have to be careful with scissors? Yeah. Ready? Grab your end. Open. For you! Oh, that's so soft. Let's take a look here. So here they are. Here they are. First run of sweatshirts. What? Let's <laughs> leave them in the box. We're not going to take them all out. Okay? So here you have it. This is our first shirts. We have our logo on the front, which came out really nice in the print. And then on the back, we have our actual full logo with the business name there. And what we got coming on the t-shirts, if you see this here, that's going to be blown up on just a front center. Dad, so that's going to be our t-shirts coming. So overall, I am very, very happy with these. They look amazing. 
the quality on them. Hold on, Greg. Leave them in there. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is empty this box so Grayson here can play with it. Because he's going to tear it apart anyway, right? No. No? No. Good job. High five. Alright, so we're going to go now. I got some work to do. I got to get some pictures of these guys. Get them up on the website. Get all the coming soon. Yeah, down off really the website. And, and we're going to go to sleep and play at the same time. So... <laughs> To get these things up though i actually got to uh do the final part of my trademark i gotta get a picture yeah, of the inside yeah, tag send them over to the trademark that's right I and get that thing submitted asap too because time's running out of my deadline for it so we're gonna go now thanks for hanging in there if you guys got any uh questions if you need any insight for helping to get your clothing business started yeah. just email me or uh Send me a uh, send me a message down below, and let, same as always from the other videos. I know it's been a while, but like, subscribe, share, keep an eye out. We're going to be doing a couple discounts, some giveaways. We're always on the lookout for ambassadors. So if you're in, if you want to uh, help us to rep our product too, to hit us up. We'll uh, definitely consider you. We'd love to have you aboard. But uh, anyways, we will see you soon. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. We'll have more videos coming out real soon.